done on my end. You? Has a fridge been taken care of? I think so. Ah, brilliant. But my main concern is meatballs. All of them in the freezer? Oh, um, yeah. Um, well, almost. Got one left in the van. We ran out of space. Ah, of course we did. Of course we did. Ah, we're both at fault, I guess. The, uh, operations logistics for my responsibility. Hmm. It's okay. Put the Goomba in the basement. I'll figure something out later. Um, uh, okie doke, Bob. So? Was he mad? What did he say? Nothing worth mulling over him. <laughs> what did I tell you? Ah, oh, fucking hell, dude! I just cleaned here! Um, yeah. Couldn't be helped. Um, Bob told me to... He told you to walk in here in those dirty-ass shoes? Jesus Christ! Oh, fuck. Sorry, that... That was a bad move. Yeah. I'm sorry, Lati. It's fine. Chin up. Just go to the kitchen, get the oven heated, okay? Oh, okie doke, Lati. Yo, homegirl. Just keeping you. The usual. That's why... It's mud. Besides... You can kick even Aaron's ass now. <laughs> what hope do the rest of us have? Mm, tell her to put on something thematically relevant. Whatever this noise is, it's a major drag. I can see through your souls, and they're like super old. But yeah, whatever. Let's go and listen to the nine millionth rendition of Last Christmas. Why not? Hey, how about. Don't. Don't. You want to talk about Mitch Milton now? Ha, five beers too early, kids. You wanted to reminisce tonight. Let's reminisce from the start. Mitch Milton. Touchy subject, kid. Mitch is still warm, and so are my memories of the fucker. <laughs> Come on, man. Yo, Bob, you know that brains stay active for hours after death. Really? Well, my horribly offline friends, hearing is said to be the last thing to go. So, Mitch Milton might still appreciate a good word or two, you know? Yeah, that's just a fat lie meant to play on my good old Catholic guilt, isn't it? Scientific speculation. That's all. Take it or leave it. TTYL. Yo, Mitch. The kids want to listen about the good old times. 19... children. Enough applause. And one more toast for Mitch. Eesh. It's been ten years since I got back to working with corpses full time. And I still can't believe that three walking dead men became my friends. Dead men, often better friends, can 
and stab you in the back. Mm-hmm. Want to tell us about your baggage now or later, big man? Come on now. We're all a civilized bunch. Participation is, of course, voluntary. Although, I'd urge you to rise to the occasion. Anyone? NGL, I'm game. FYI, my story was a little different. Bob wasn't saving my ass. We met as equals. As equals? Huh. An aspiring mentor taken aback by a promising young rookie and her elite skillage. Elite? Can you well, uh, why don't you simply tell us how you remember it, sweetheart? If all the info I've intercepted is correct, his target tonight is this morgue. Easy. Imagine the look on his face if I actually pull this off. And if I don't, should get out of it with only a slap on the wrist. This is your casting call, girl. Your audition tape, your one-time chance to impress. Once a New York rave queen, now a master hacker. And soon, a legendary fixer. I just don't get why you do this. Oh, it's a long story. So, my name is Aaron Reed, but my friends call me Viper. Viper? Wow. <laughs> Your friends must be regular freaking comedians. Nuh-uh. They're super cool hackers who steal sports cars and take a lot of drugs. Uh-huh. You're something of a jokester yourself. No? My corpse cleaning competences are considerable, Mr. Leaner. And I'm a big fan of the work you did in the 70s. What the? Wow. Yeah, uh-huh, well, I hear you. Let me think. Uh, so how did you? You teach me how to clean up IRL. I teach you how to clean up online. Deal? Uh, I'll be in touch. Meantime, get yourself some body bags and a good vacuum cleaner. A vacuum? You're refusing to take me seriously, aren't you, you old fart? Boom! High score! I'll have you know that there's VIP in Viper for a damn good reason, OFC! So, um... Ow! Fine. But I'm not very good at telling. So I will be showing. God damn. God damn. God damn. Don will go apeshit. He knew I couldn't control myself. He said I couldn't control myself. Should have kept my mouth shut. Ignored the Serbians' insults. Ignored Polly's insults. God damn. God damn. Gotta clean up this mess somehow. Gotta get rid of the bodies. Wait. Yes. Gotta get the chainsaw. Yes. Gotta get the good old trusty chainsaw. Yes. Huh? What's wrong? I got your tongue. What's your angle? So you can talk at normal volume if you want to. What do you mean, my angle? Are you giving me up to the pigs? Or to Don Rena's execution squad? I think his entire execution squad is either stuck in my trunk or scattered around that cabin back there. As for the pigs, well, we also just left them behind. So I don't think either of those ideas works. Nah, I want to offer you a job. You can probably guess what it entails by now. It's a wild job, but you're a wild guy. Pays well, comes with accommodations, gets Don Rain off your back if I vouch for you. So what do you say? Um, 
I'm not proud. I threatened your Charlie Parker cassettes and your car. And me? And you. Oh, a very a physical performance, Hal. Thank you. Please, fix that later. Ah, uh, shit. I'm so... I mean, eat shit. Was that almost an apology? The madman's gotta be feeling really grateful. Well, I'm grateful for him. That being said... Your turn, Lottie. Alright. But my account of how it all started ain't that interesting. Well, I don't know about that. You didn't choose a life of crime and so on. Fine. Listen up. This is the first and last time I'll tell this story. Move your ass! Buddy, my ass won't leave this place until it gets a pack of cigarettes. Uh-huh. I'm, I, I'm training to be an artist. This isn't what it looks like. Sure, because it looks like your friend left you in the middle of a giant mess. I, I was just scared to stop him. This is not me. I'm training to be an artist. You hear? Artists rarely choose their tools, kid. It's the tools that choose them. Today, you were chosen by a vacuum cleaner. My car's in the back. Get the bodies, dump them in the trunk, clean the blood. Save your ass. This what? Is Mary and Joseph. You have a gift for this line of work, girl. A very lucrative gift. But now? I'm gonna get rid of everything, and you're gonna lay low for a week or two. Then, you're gonna call me, my business card. And we'll make a lot of money doing the same thing. Listen, thanks, but... <laughs> but what makes you think I'd ever want to repeat this? Are you out of your mind? Your dream is to become an artist in New York City. A big artist? And you'll do whatever it takes to achieve it? Yes. Except for selling it. <laughs> Got rich parents, a big inheritance, a Japanese investor lover, art curator friends in high places? No, but... Keep the business card, just in case. I'll see you around. So yeah, once again, thanks for saving my ass. Let's move on. Glad to have you with us, kid. Always was. Executive suite. 
sweeps messes. Now I'm throwing out low-level managers trash. Do you go out with friends? Well, a boy's best friend is his mother. with the lowly beginnings. Let's do some bragging, kids. This decade was full of crazy jobs. Which one are you most proud of? Just let them brag. Fine, I'll start. It was a cold winter. The sun went down with... The deal with the Serbians has gone south. It's gone to shit, Bob. No two ways about it. I can see, Don Rana. It doesn't look pretty. Oh, it's just the tip of the iceberg, Bob. But I know you can turn this Titanic around. Call me when you're done with the parking, and I'll tell you the rest. <laughs> Wonderful work. Magnificent work. As expected of the indisputable master of his craft. But the question that remains is... Would the master be interested in tripling his pay today? Oh, I'm humbled, Don Reyna. And definitely interested. You remember Vittorio Spore's cabin, of course. Well, a young man went out of control there today. Victoria will be inconsolable if the mess isn't taken care of, and the young man has to be arrested. If I may, Don Rana, what's the benefit of seeing your subordinate caught there? Nothing but migraine relief, Bob. He's a tool, a dumb animal. Can't be controlled. He must be cut loose. I see, I see. Well, I have a proposition, Don Rana. Huh. Well, I'm all ears, maestro. A tool is just what I need. The dumber and more distracting he is, the better. So what if... That's your best memory of the 90s? A parking lot in the middle of nowhere. I mean, I was trying to explain the technical. The intricate decision-making. I thought that his colleagues you'd appreciate. Uh, maybe when you're older. Ugh. Tough crowd, huh? Mm. I guess I could break it down even further. But what for? You'd never understand. Hey, hey, hey. I'm offended by the implication that I can't understand something. I'm Basically, Cyber Cali folks, the techno goddess of death, dial up Hell Queen. The dead, I disappear them. The cops, I pwn them. Digital evidence, what digital? Okay, here we go. Viper story. I know the one. Arcade machines, drugs, and blood. Finally, a real challenge, and it's perfect for me, too. I know this arcade like the back of my hand. 
Mission start. Complete. You win. Perfect. New high score. Jeez. These are just some noob hacker kids way out of their depth. What a sad, sad story. Good thing I'm way too cunning and street smart and pretty and talented to end up like that. Huh? Time to tell Bob and the others. Come to think of it. I'm almost certain I've met those lamos before. How come you don't remember? Um, you know, those were the early days of me expanding my spiritual horizons. <sighs> Erin was so messed up she barely acknowledged her own existence is what she says. It's called achieving greatness, sister. Not like any of you could ever understand it. Well, uh, I think I do. You find something you're good at. You learn how to do it your way. You see the assholes who've been scaring you for your whole life, and you realize they can't do anything to you. Finally, you feel in control. All right, well, time to pay your bills, girl. Hangman's gang did this. Looks like they're aggressively expanding their territory. God, if I find you dead, numbskull, I'll still find a way to get back at your ass. <sighs> That's a relief, at least. What the hell is he doing with his life? Sorry, got carried away. But, uh, yeah. The best feeling in the world. Fucking A. Ah, uh, if it works, it works. I don't get it. I don't think anybody else does. Okay. Let's fucking go. Uh, control yourself. Deep breath. Can't mess it up. Once again, let's have the What's up, big guy? Got a smoke to spare? Uh, I guess. Not much for small talk, huh? Not particularly. Thanks a lot about it. Mm, same here, yeah. Most people tend to avoid the subjects that really matter. Like, if you could put a bullet into one U.S. president's head, which one would it be?
anybody? Ever? I mean, we both have a very, very extensive knowledge of what not to do. And a comical lack of knowledge of what we actually should do. Self-parody. Wanna be Scandinavian cult bullshit. Comically macho sound versus comically insecure lyrics. You have no taste. Yet mine is still better than yours.
where are we? I couldn't even tell you the right continent. Hell, I barely even know who I am right now. <laughs> Senior Solano. Now everyone else is dead. Somebody's killed them. Somebody killed them all. Somebody? It's your exquisite handiwork, my friend. <laughs> Cocaine has revealed your true self. What? I... I what? Ah, I'm just messing with you. Bastards were pissing me off, so I decided to test my beloved Belgian battle rifle on them. <laughs> whoa, whoa. This is not real. It's absolutely not real. I mean, why would anyone do this? To see the master at work. Don't Reina always brags about your skills? Now I finally get to see them in action. Fuck Don Reina and fuck you. Why would I ever show my tricks to you? Why? Why? Good question. Oh, I remember. We're almost back in Florida. Bienvenidos a Miami. If you don't clean up the deck in three hours, we're both about to drown in a sea of shit. <laughs> now, chop chop. Two hours, 53 minutes left. Damn it. Damn it. My heart is about to give out. Excellent job, my friend. You are a real kung fu master. <laughs> yeah, piss off. But what now? The Chinese, they believe anything can be kung fu. Poetry, carpentry, running, as long as it's a craft. Crime scene cleaning, that's your craft. And what a beautiful kung fu it is. I cried tears of joy. Did you see? The better you are at your craft, the more the universe forces you to use it. <laughs> it's you who forced me. Me to... Don't worry. The reward will be delivered to your account in four to seven business days. Enjoy Miami. Meanwhile, I'm about to organize some funerals. You know, I've never done it before. <laughs> they arrested him six days later, while he was symbolically burying dozens of missing people. The newspapers said the funerals were breathtakingly beautiful. Maybe organizing funerals was his kung fu. Seriously, though, some of the things we managed to sweep under the rug? Crazy. Do you mean literally? Because, boy, do I have a story about a Persian carpet and a... No dad jokes, please. And I mean figuratively, like, all the scandals we prevented? A story befitting a crime drama. Or a sitcom, perhaps. <laughs> sitcom? Don't even get me started. What? You're too good for sitcoms now, sister? I saw how the sausage is made, sister. Forgive me if I tend to choke on it. Listen, I only took up this job because you and Bob told me it concerns the world of art. Those are sitcom sets, and those are dead sitcom actors. Television is art. Weird, stupid people pretending to be other people stuck in an environment that screws up their heads. But it's cool as hell. It's funny as hell. It's relatable. Well, <laughs> Bob instructed you to tell me this in case I started whining, didn't he? You guys are the worst. I'll be over there. Yeah, that's over and done with. Jesus. I hate sitcoms. It's Pavlovian conditioning. You can say anything. The audience will laugh anyway. I don't think my burgeoning art career is giving me any fulfillment despite my material success. the world and everything in it! 
I lost my best friend in the entire world, and I don't know why. Sometimes I'm so sad I want to vomit. The chemistry in my brain seems wrong! The woman I love is an alien face sometimes! <laughs> children responding to the rhythms not the content let's just go morality of the whole TV industry is one thing, but there's just nothing artistic in those procedural shit shows. The modern IRL art can just FOH when compared to TVH. I'll stick with sitcoms. You're a neurotic and a narcissist, Aaron. Of course you'll stick with sitcoms. Come on. It couldn't possibly be that bad. At least not as bad as Aaron's precinct infiltration. Or Riker's. Did he do... Rikers. I mean... Rikers. I always wanted to, but I thought he's Rikers. quiet for a reason. Rikers. Whoa. Rikers. Ah. Ah. It's been Rikers. years. 
Rikers. And he's in a much better. Rikers. Rikers. About Rikers. Rikers. it. Rikers. Might actually do it good. Rikers. 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 Good evening. I'll skip the pleasantries since time is of the essence. There's been a riot. It's gotten a little messy. There's an inspection today. It better not get messy. I'd love to put you like a pig and hang you with your own intestines. If it isn't Mr. Bowen. You managed to find a place for yourself? Resocialization achieved, I'd say. I don't expect another explanation of my methods will be effective, so I'll just leave here. Y'all had your own insight into the deep rot, ain't that right? Albeit from different vantage points. The police station on one side, the sitcom set on the other. FWIW? None of us expected what this low rank police quest would turn into. A straight up suicide mission for the good of the family. Why did this precinct even allow these air ducts to be so big? Absolutely crazy. Maybe they fantasized about using the McLean style one day during the Soviet invasion or something. Whatever, I have a job to do. So without further ado, General Bob, I have managed to infiltrate the enemy area. mission but I ain't gonna back down this time it's personal
did it! I totally did it! I saved all of our asses! I'm like Kevin McNick meets John McClane, and I'm cool as hell, and... I was scared as hell, and I never want to do it again. But I will never admit to it. No way in hell. I will make them all bow to Queen Viper. ISTM, you've yet to thank me for saving your asses. LOL. I'll let that one slide, but you need to step up your game. Okay, time out, folks. I'm sensing some unresolved issues and unnecessary resentments. Oh my, what gave you the hint? Chainsaw furniture? I wanted a nice evening to close this chapter of our lives. Kick back, laugh, reminisce. Oh, I see. And that's why you caused Hal to have Vietnam flashbacks about... you know where. Guys, I make mistakes. But do you doubt that I always have your best interest in mind? Cleaning time is over.
I'm not turning on the radio. Last time I did, they started talking about sports betting. Felt like being an alcoholic catching his first whiff of a good bourbon in 10 years. Shameless forgery of Van Gogh's starry night. The things you can get in a yard sale. I still have no idea why I rubbed Mom the wrong way. mad about it for quite some time. I mean, it's a damn good piece. Well, what are you gonna do? Ain't gonna fight mom over such a trifle. I shoved the damn picture back in the closet and buttoned my lip. Bless everyone who can sustain their self-denial without getting fed up with it every now and then. I, for one, can't blame those who can't. Cleaning time is over. Predictions, plagues, pollution, stagnation, fascism, guys today with terrorism, wonderful, it's absolutely so fucking wonderful. Ah, nothing good on TV. The police are still searching for evidence while most of the bodies remain... A newspaper excerpt about Echo provoking yet another riot in prison. Six left dead. I hear they're using him as some sort of crime scene consultant sometimes. Taking him out in a cage. I need a cigarette. Some say hell is other people. Me, I spent years in hell alone. It taught me to appreciate company. I can't lie, I'm fond of these punks. They are a mess, but mess is where I thrive. As long as it's rewarding to take care of it, right? The news says history has ended. A toast to all the efforts that made it seem this way, including ours. It's just that sometimes there are regrets. And the thing about having regrets is that they lead you to thinking the wrong things. And that led me to... Ah, uh, Who the heck is paging me at this time? Ah, uh, forget it. I'll check it in a minute. Those damn kids want me to talk about the time they saved me from the gates of hell. Not a fun story. But I own that one. Especially tonight. It's the dawn of a new era, for better or for worse. Ah, mon frere bien ami. Have you missed our carefree strolls through the gardens of lunacy? Jesus Christ. Give up the edgy serial killer as guide stick, Echo. It's intellectually beneath you. The one who cleans obeys the one who defiles. I design the games you play. I am your god, bitch. 
This is insanely embarrassing. You're like 60 years old. You've reached the Cathedral of Sin I've built just for you. Yet you still don't perceive the design. You know what? Shut the fuck up. You've been terrorizing me with those crappy monologues for decades. But this time, I'll set my vacuum cleaner to loud and simply get to work. Act your heart out now, bitch. Hey, no! Just, I'm trying... The Cathedral of Sin! What are you trying to... You're not even listening now! Can, can you hear me? I, I said the Cathedral of Sin! Hey, what's going on? You're, now you're not even looking. You're just being rude. Hey, guys, let's go! Let's go! To your positions. Stick to the plan. Swat will be here any minute now. Communications. Looks like they found Echo, and they're saying, uh, he has tripped over his shoelaces while running away and fell into an open manhole, dying immediately? They totally shot him, right? I spent a quarter of a century running away from the guy, and he just dies like that. So, what's the lesson here? You gotta confront your past. Police brutality is okay sometimes. Bob is adult. I don't like any of those. So let's just go with, if you survive another day, celebrate by drinking. F.N.A. First video section. First picnic with Bob. First corpse disposal. First day with Sam. Good memories. Good place. Safe place. So why is it crawling with all those worthless flashbacks? I swear. It really is the end of an era. How do you do? It's your host, Lottie. Right now, I'm having an argument. 
Normally, I'm the adult in the room. You know, one-eyed queen in the land of the blind. But today, unresolved tensions are being solved in two fundamentally incompatible ways. See, for some, hard conversations are an opportunity to voice their pain, to feel seen. I mean, right on, honey. Good for you. Cleanse your spirit. Others treat these talks like debates. They want to show wit, deductive skills, a level head. Those childish fuckers, am I right? Read the room. Someone is laying their soul bare in front of you, and you're like, nice soul, hon. Any logical trap I can use to send it back where it came from? <laughs> Fucking children. But hey, that's a life of crime for you. Eternal adolescence. So sometimes you gotta, you know, nudge your friends. And sometimes you gotta bag them and tag them. Hmm? What am I even doing? My art is finally starting to get noticed. Do I even need this money? Do I treat these operations as a source of inspiration? <laughs> Have I become some kind of adrenaline junkie? Andre! <sighs> Leticia? Oh, for Christ's sake. Get out of here, girl. They will put, put you in jail or worse. Dumbass. I always told you it would end like this. Shot dead by random gangsters for no reason. You just wouldn't listen. No. You never listen, do you? I'm, I'm an undercover cop. Hell, I always have been. And I know uh, what you've been up to these past years. What? I've gotten into trouble. These guys were feds. It doesn't matter. Just, just go. Run the hell away. Oh, piss off. It's not just about you. We're stuck in this together, whether you like it or not. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> and I'm taking you out of here if it's the last thing I do. We actually did it. Now we can... Andre? Of course. Of my life. Let's just go. One last ride together. Just like 10 years ago. Another day, another senseless crime, and another bloodstained scumbag demanding my mercenary services. I don't discriminate against my clients. I despise them all. And I always accept their money graciously. The job is easy this time. A rave party in Central Park accidentally got mowed down by machine gunfire. It's the Mafia again. Little boys with big guns who don't know where to point them. I manage a dry laugh. Nobody will ever know, of course. That's what I'm paid the big bucks for. The rave must turn yes. into a myth, you beautiful souls. Soon, nobody will even know you existed. Not even I will be sure you did. She's a master gamer, a cyber ronin, a former rave queen, and a legendary crime scene cleaner. The world won't know her name. Just as it won't know the names of the people she made disappear. But that's okay. Because the will of the universe is watching. And everything 
is all right with the world. You're really into that crime shit, huh? I don't know. Am I? <laughs> Come on. You spent the whole evening talking about being disillusioned with the facade of reality. Alluding to heinous crimes we'll never know about. Bragging you know because of your famous fixer friends. FYI, I got a little tipsy, and I'm a bit of a provocator, and I was actually testing you all, and, uh... I guess broken girls love conspiracies and serial killers. Daddy never kissed me. I got into Ted Bundy. He's a dick, but dang, what if he's onto something? Should I GTFO while there's still time? You didn't mention you have a PhD in pop psychology. When our souls and brains are molded by pop culture, pop psychology becomes the real psychology. What a shame. Your psychology seems to be that of a hella annoying video game NPC. Talk to the hand. Anyway, my brain chemistry enhancements are kicking in. Let's move. Let's mm, dance. Yeah, about time. Let me grab some water and I'll see you on the dance floor. people knowing who I really am seem more special. As long as they're not old, angry vets. Uh, sorry for not being special. Um, sorry for sounding passive-aggressive. I... I'll, uh, shut up. I swear, she stammers just like our big angry boy chick. I wonder who's more clueless. Huh. weapon. Those are the names. Now they're gone. Grown up, dead, or in prison for unrelated infractions I wish I never knew about. What if the gang ends up the same way? What if the web goes to shit in a few years? What will I do? Does it really come down to Mrs. I told you so because I'm so experienced being right in the end? Ugh. But then again... Has the will of the universe cast its eye on me? Does it want to tell me that this dance can't last forever? Whatever. Don't think. Just... breathe. Listen. Feel. Eric, we have to talk about Paradise and the subject of death. Sweet. Let's do it.
I wasn't the first, okay? I only took out mine after I saw you guys whip out yours. <sighs> Funny. Nobody's initiated aggression. But the atmosphere makes me think of Columbine. I don't even remember how this argument has started. So, uh, did some shooting first? Don't even joke around. You said we shouldn't disturb Hal's peace of mind. FYI, his peace of mind seems plenty disturbed. Never mind the man himself. Like a mad dog, I'm ready to sniff out traitors and rip out their entrails. The traitor? F it. I'll go out on a limb, and guess we all got paid to the same thing tonight, then? You mean, hi, Richie Mitch here. Cool party upstairs. Makes me wish I wasn't dead. I had a dead man switch. Mafia knows one of you went to the cops last month. You're fucked, TTYL. Did Mitch actually bother to send out custom messages? Or is that just a very liberal paraphrase? I'm a very liberal person. Would back Bill for a third term if I could. You know me, Bob. But we know Bob. Ah, oh, for Christ's sakes. You gotta be kidding me. Et tu, Brute? Brute, as in Brutus. That's the old Bill Shakespeare, Hal. Act three, scene one, Caesar says it, then he dies. Ixnay on the condescension there, Bob. Whoa, whoa, pardon me, son, but you act like I should be the prime suspect. And I don't know why. I mean, come on, retirement? All you've yapped about this year, but you were too shy to share specifics. Oh, for... I mean, we're all on equal footing here. And I ain't spearheading this one. Not this time. So, who's it gonna be? Gee, guys. You know I love me some games. So here's one for you. A detective game. Robert, a disappointment to his mom, got three innocent-ish kids into crime life, very old. Spent ages hiding the sins of our profit-oriented world, dated a serial killer, yearns for atonement. Haldor, once a spirit of hate, now a soldier of love, future crown witness slash family man. Unlike his messy father figure, he might dream for his children to live in a better world. Letitia, a real artist, spent years trying to get recognized by a bunch of rich, crusty racists. Knows about the skeletons in their closets, hits them herself, wants to see the art world burn. Finally, Erin, her hobbies, illicit raves, illegal hacking, unlawful substances, glamorous crime. Question. Which one of them called 911 to sell out the others? The arrogant brat who spent ages hiding the sins of our profit-oriented world? The drama queen who wants to see the corporate cyber world and crusty dot-com investors burn? A disappointment to her parents? Already feels old? Yearns for atonement? A master of projection? Last month, the office job. Start talking. The... the office? Ugh. Fine. Just don't stop me if you don't understand some of the technical jargon. Finally, a testosterone-free team-up. Am I right? Or am I right? It's time for us girls to show those goddamn old farts how to hide these goddamn crimes. Aaron, I love you, but let's not get overexcited. I'm just here for the money. I recommend that mindset. Scary, all right, if you don't shut up and get to work. <laughs> so, he sent one more thug to finish the job, eh? Fuck, Odio. Just get on with it, you. Oh, that's so very dramatic, pal. But you got it all wrong. We're here to get you out of this mess. We? How many of you? 
just enough to pull it off. But... <coughs> Put a sock in it, Christ almighty. Drooling blood all over the place. You're making my work harder than it needs to be. So, I think I deserve some applause for spinning a compelling tale with two guns in my face. A tale of fabrication? A lie? Easy, bud. Bob could have easily sold Palmieri out to the cops, but he didn't. I trust him. Please, what do I always tell you? No way out of this life. I do hate my own lessons. Yeah. It was a shockingly coherent and down-to-earth story of doing the impossible. Pretty cool. You might not be as senile as I thought. Cheeky broad. So, a classic mafia game strategy, you say? I accuse the last failed accuser. Piss off! Guts. Viscera. Blood! Excrements! That's my life! What else is out there? How about love? Kiss heart, love heart, kiss. You were all aware? Of the girl? Yes. That you live together? Yes. That your loyalties might be split? Um, hmm. No room for um. Samantha? Severe bipolar disorder. A bit bitchy. Wants a baby and a clean husband. I'm sorry. If I sound mean, it's because I really, really hate not getting invited to weddings. It's just so fucking sad. I really thought we like each other more than that. Agreed. So, could you remove this tool from my throat, Hal? I don't think I'd be comfortable doing it, Bob. I'm not convinced I'll be comfortable with your, uh, expressive storytelling style in this position. You all think I'm some sort of goddamn animal who can't control himself, don't you? Okay, then. Here's a tale. Or rather, a testimony of a professional. He might not be respected by his peers, but he follows a code and does his job well. Pigs. Pigs everywhere. Maybe Sammy was right. I'm always sending to the biggest messes. Armored pigs. Long range pigs. Big Joe in the middle of this big goddamn hog house. Hog house. <laughs> My thanks, Hal. But don't think for a second that you've earned yourself clemency. There's no forgiving what you did to Polly. Idiot that he was, he was still my blood. Skip this town. I'd better not see you again. I didn't care for his threats. But they did make me think. So... Questions, accusations, inquiries into private relationships, complaints about bodily harm? No foul play detected. I'm in your corner, buddy. Always have been. None. 
Yeah, lying requires being sly, and Hal is not that put together as a person. I mean that lovingly. Thanks. No. Thanks. Moving on. Elephant in a room. Allow me to address everyone made a good case for themselves. The ball is in your court. Boring mafia players often stay quiet while setting others at each other's throats. Are you playing games with us? Psst. Cute. Real cute. Cute as a pail full of kittens. Aaron, will you offer me solidarity in this trying moment, or will you burden me with a probable motive? Art World, you're moving up, got a clean cash flow going, we're becoming a liability, yada yada. Seriously, of all the things you found online, a spine wasn't one of them? Just helping you clear your name, sis. I know you will make an eloquent case for yourself. Bob, how about some symbolic words of support? A positive assessment of my character. Just uh, tell us about your last visit to the museum, Lot. I'll cross-reference it with my sources. Sources? Ha! Huh. Unbelievable. You are all unbelievable. It's like you never even cared to know me. But fine, okay. Let me tell you about my last passionate love affair with the art world. With the answer change. You're in big trouble if I'm not. Spit it out. Neither of us have time for the angst. Clean up the mess, get the dough. Two bags. There's a hidden room behind the big ugly painting. Be quick about it. Wait! How do I open it? Give up your inquiries, which are completely useless. They don't tell me shit. Yeah. Thanks for nothing. Oh, summarizing what just happened. I spent my whole life trying to impress people. Who only see works like mine as an element of a complicated money laundering plan. With a paper trail that seems connected to some shady agencies, dictators, and military investments. <sighs> Hangman, I hope you're roasting me from up above or down below right now. I know I deserve it. So yeah, fuck the art world, fuck art, and fuck every single one of you. Got it, got it. But can we please not provoke each other while at gunpoint? Oh, how cute. This your first time at the wrong end of a gun, Mr. Big Shot Fixer? Wow. Could it be that a stuck-up artist has more experience with staring down the barrel? Lattie, you've seen some deep shit. Got used to the smell and made it your own. I trust you. Entering Y2K as the queen of shit. Gee, thanks. Does the title come with crown immunity? Well, well, well. I suppose the proverbial cat is out of the proverbial bag. Yep. Uh... This isn't Wood. How? Your gal, bless her heart, gave you a book about Federal Witness Protection Program this Xmas. Did it ever cross your mind not to keep it in the car where I can see it, pal? It was nothing. You're reaching. 1996, an encyclopedia of whistleblowers. 1997, a book of famous mob informants. 1998, Hegel and Kant. She got you reading Critique of Pure Reason, and you're still with her, fella. This is hopeless. You're torn, and I totally get it. I think it's a safe bet that Aaron and Lottie went through a similar thought process. Too bad you chose to jimmy your way out of our thing with no consideration for anyone else. I'd rather not have to do this. But see, you don't get to choose how this thing ends.
So, who's doing the honors? Yeah, all things considered, I should be the one to close this chapter. There's nothing that we could do about it. It is now safe to turn off your computer, friend.